One of the biggest Minnesota Vikings guys on the planet Earth right now. This guy is excited to be representing his hometown team. Uh, very excited for this tournament. He was very adamant about that, Gibbs. He is just not a regular Vikings fan. He is a diehard Vikings fan. He eats, breathes, and sleeps Minnesota Viking football. So this is a huge deal for him. He has never even imagined that he would get an opportunity like this. But to put on for the team that he's grown up watching and loved his whole life, this is something that he wants to take full advantage of. How how many horns do you think he has? Do those skull horns? <laughs> <laughs> a couple, two, two cool. three of those back at home and in his bedroom. But here we are already, third and seven. Halfback splits to the left, play action fake. They're gonna roll out to the right side. Underneath option goes downfield to Greg Olson for a huge first down. That's not a good look if you're LT. Greg Olson was wide open, but he also had the drag wide open underneath. And that's not a good sign when he got that many guys with that much space in the open field. Um, Straight into making an easy read. LT not looking great on defense on that third down, even though it's supposed to be a strong suit. Yeah, and first 10 run. We start here with a run inside. Ricky Williams moves the chains. We're going to go back to gun tight. Rodgers goes back under center. Ricky Williams dotting behind Aaron Rodgers here, calling out a couple hot routes. Inside handoff, fighting in between the tackles. Big time hit stick right there by Floyd on a short gain on first down. Yeah, it's the rookie Leonard Floyd, and that was a big hit right there by LT. It was looking like Strafen was just gonna walk up for an easy four or five yard gain, but after you get hit like that, you kind of think about running the ball uh, again. You know, that, that could scare you a little bit. Hits will add up over the course of a game. Rogers, snap of the ball, steps up in the pocket. The no defense. one's open. He's gonna scramble, use some of that mobility there to get the first down. Oh, that was rough by LT. He played perfect defense right there, and it was just up to him to make the tackle on the quarterback, but he didn't have the stick work to do so right there. Gibbs. That was a user error by LT, and I know he's frustrated with it. Goes up top. Aaron Rodgers, a high point pass for those of you new to the game. That's where you deliver the ball up high to your receiver. Take a look at the Throw that high pass, Gibbs. All you need to do is press the LB button as you're selecting what receiver button you want to throw to. And that's going to make sure the quarterback puts a little bit of extra arc on that pass. And here we split Ricky Williams out left. We're going to go back over the oh, middle field. Dizzy. User interception, Anthony Barr right there. And what you saw there, you saw the halfback split to the left for extra pass protection but he actually didn't send the blitz. What's going on there between these two players? Well, he's just playing a, a mental chess match. You want to get as, there's not that much room to make moves in the red zone. There's not a lot of space. So you drop him back into coverage. You get more people. There's less room, less open space with more defenders back there. And LT able to capitalize early. And that's what he needs to do is play defense and control this ball. And he's starting that early with the interception and an early run for five. I'll, I gotta tell you, I gotta tip the old ball cap. You said the key to the game here at the top of the broadcast for, for LT was ball control and, and defense and, and controlling line of scrimmage. And already at the start of this one, great interception here in the red zone, and he starts out with a nice inside run on first down. That was big. Something that LT needs to be aware of. Oh, he's got room. He's got, oh, I couldn't win the tackle battle. Yeah, and you can see an inside run there to Marcel Reese. It's going to play a pivotal role for him in this one. Marcel Reese, a versatile player in the backfield for LT and his Kansas City Chiefs offense. Now we're going to come uh, back to a gun two-back set here. Snap of the ball. Russell Wilson finds a wide-open Williams for a first down. Wow, that's a good read by LT and looking good. It's something he needs to be aware of, though, is Strafen has been known to make some serious comebacks, Gibbs. We've seen him do it at the Minnesota Club Series. We've seen him do it in online elimination. This is a guy that's not going to give up and is comfortable from playing from behind. We've seen him do it multiple times. Yeah, when you get to a tournament like this, it's so important to be able to have that wherewithal to be able to fight back. And even if things do go against you, you saw earlier in our first game with True Boy, he, some of the momentum not going his way, had to battle some of that adversity again. How's a guy like Strafen, how does he handle that? How does he be able to... Give me that oh, shit! The <laughs> ball is out right there. <laughs> And Strafen gets the fumble right there. <laughs> and he's very animated. This is a kid that plays with his heart on his sleeve. You hear him talk a lot. And it's usually not to his opponent. He talks to himself. He's saying, come on, Strafen. He's yelling at himself to make sure he executes and executes. He does to that same route to Greg Olsen. And he's just as naked this time as he was the first time. But this time it's in the end zone for six gifts. And Strafen has all kinds of momentum. And if you're LT, the pressure is on. You're going up against a world-class player. You're the underdog. You had a whole bunch of momentum. He took it right back from you and put up six that quick. That puts you in an awkward situation. And I guarantee you LT's feeling a little bit of pressure here, Gibbs. 
Yeah, in the biz, they call that sudden change right there. And listen, you were talking about the importance of being able to fight back into a ball game right before we had the fumble. Okay. Uh, how, do, how does the guy, how do you keep the composure when you're playing in a game like this, some things aren't going your way, and then you get back like you've been there? It's like what the Patriots did in the Super Bowl. It's one play at a time. Gives You can't think about what happened earlier in the game or what missed opportunity. You just got to make sure the next time that opportunity comes up, you capitalize on it. You got to have a short memory, and you got to take it one play at a time, not try to get it all back in one play either. Yeah, and he certainly did there. Now second and six, and we have another interception. Wow, Anthony Barnes that's his down to the 10 to the 5. In for six and capitalizing on another big play right there for Strafen. And you're talking about what sudden change right Holy there. Smokes. We told you he was going to be lurking with his favorite player, Minnesota Viking, Anthony Barr. And boy, is he representing the Vikings with him there with a pick six. And talking about the pressure LT was feeling, I said, maybe he's feeling some pressure right now. He's definitely feeling the pressure now. But TZ is a veteran. He needs to know that it's to buckle down and just get this drive going. He's He has the tool to get it done he just needs to do it and he starts with this drive right here LT Jerry Littleton he's the number six ranked player here in this club series you can see there he has already two turnovers in this this matchup that's gonna play a huge role as this game unfolds as he keep turning the rock over yeah, three turnovers in the first quarter is a lot gives we got one from straight and two from LT these guys are gonna have to protect the protect the ball a little bit more and something that makes it rough for LT as we talked about he needed to have clock control to win this game but now you find yourself down 14 points Gibbs and now you got to get more aggressive on offense that clock control kind of goes out the window and it's now about getting the ball down the field and getting some points yeah and, and you know you, curious roster moves you can see here from LT he's got uh, a, a fullback in, in Reese you have a, a traditional fullback in Reese and Travis Kelsey he splits them in the backfield and so then you begin to wonder out of position Kraus too at wide receiver he's the only person we've seen even use that item on their salary cap team that's a guy you usually see on defense uh, this time you see Kraus on offense much like we saw Brett using Mike Evans on defense last game yeah it, some of the versatility is, is that what we're seeing here he likes to be able to go from formation to formation change things up that's what Reese Kelsey those guys give to him correct yes absolutely they're guys that they can block they can run and you can send them out on a pass and they can get it done and they're both big bodies so very versatile players in Travis Kelsey and Marcel Reese and if you guys are all just joining us here we are winding down in this first quarter of the Madden NFL Club Series finals we are a matchup here between IB Strafen representing the Minnesota Vikings and LT representing the Kansas City Chiefs here in this one and right now Strafen on top 14 nothing in this first quarter the first quarter really has come down to Sloppy play on both sides of the ball. We've had three turnovers already in, in this game. Uh, and, and right now, though, Strafen commanding 14 nothing lead. Yeah, and LT is going to have to find an answer for Strafen's offense, which he's had Greg Olson running around naked multiple times in this game, and that's just not something you could allow happen if you're LT playing defense. And there you can see Paul Krause on the tackle on the defensive side of the ball there for Strafen. Now we head into a third and seven situation. Very difficult to convert in these spots uh, for offenses because downfield options, you have underneath options, a lot of different things available to your offense. Russell Wilson barking out orders. He's got Reese split to the left, Kelsey split to the right. We have a bunch to the right with Kraus and Landry. A snap of the ball, a couple options underneath. He's going to go to the sideline. Travis Kelsey catch first down. LT likes to attack those flat, route with flat routes with the wheels coming out of the backfield from that two-back set. We saw him do it a lot in Kansas City when he won the event, but he needs to be careful because throwing late into the flat could result into a pick six, but nonetheless a very effective tactic when he gets the ball out quick and makes the right read as long as there's not a hard flat defender out there. And Marcel Reese takes another inside handoff. He's got three rushes for 20 yards, a six-yard gain there on first down. And I like this drive so far by LT, Gibbs. I don't want to talk too soon, but he's running the ball. He's mixing it up. He's not in a hurry. He's not trying to get it all back in one play, and this is exactly what you need to do if you want to get yourself back into this ball game. One drive at a time, and just focus on going out and getting yourself six. And just like that, he gives the rock back to Marcel Reese, falls forward for a no-yard gain, and we're getting into none of those pivotal third-down situations. These are the biggest moments of games. How do you convert on third downs? keep the chains moving and keep your drive alive. 
You, know, you want to have a variety of routes, Gibbs is definitely. You want to have something underneath. You want to have something up top. And you need to get away from the user defender. Exactly what he did right there. And before I could even get to it, he cleared out Strafen's user defender with that tight end crossing route. And that allowed the running back to be by himself in the middle of the field. So get, getting that user defender distracted and finding another person in space is huge to execute in those situations. And LT did a prime example of that right there. And Russell Wilson's mobility helped out on that play as well. He was able to evade that pass rush, throw off his back foot, take some of that baseball skills there for the accurate throw. And an inside handoff here to tight end Travis Kelsey. Kelsey falls forward for a short game. And we have LT on record as saying he felt Travis Kelsey is one of the best ball carriers in the game. He's like, he doesn't, fumble. he doesn't fumble for me. He falls forward. And think about it. This is Madden football. This isn't the NFL. In real life, they wouldn't be giving Kelsey the ball all the time out the backfield because you risk all types of injury and fatigue issues. But in Madden, you don't have to worry about injuries in the salary cap mode, so you can allow him to be a little bit more durable and get more versatile with him and up his workload a little bit. And Kelsey is a, a very versatile player, six foot five. He can stretch the field vertically, has a lot of speed, as you can see here. Stretch the field horizontally. Again, it's a bar, and he's about to get on his horse one more time. Sideline, what stick work by Strafen, and he ain't Strafen. He's in full stride, going for Glory Gibbons. And just <laughs> like that, Anthony Barr. Now, that is the fourth turnover of this ball game, the third from LT. Second by, second touchdown by Barr. The second user pick touchdown by Anthony Barr. Anthony Barr is up 14 to nothing against LT right now. And this is not where you want to be with TZ. How about that stick work to get to the numbers, juke out the linemen? This dude strafing is the real deal. And if you're the Minnesota Vikings, you got to be liking your chances in this event right now, Gibbs. Yeah, in, in, in strafing, a lot of the players in, in speaking with them uh, in, in last night and in, in the previous night, a lot of them said strafing was the guy that they were most worried about having to play. He plays what they would call, we'll put just some air quotes around this one, is a random defense. And it's not that he doesn't know what he's out there calling. It's that uh, he will change his defensive play calls up based on situations, and he's not a uh, he's not robotic in terms yeah, of the play calls. He's not adjusting out of one defense. A lot of guys will call like a nickel blitz, and they'll make adjustments out of that, where he's calling a variety of different plays. You'll see cover four. You'll see cover three. You'll see cover two. You'll see a man blitz. You'll see a zone blitz. You'll see some two-man under. He is not scared to mix it up, and that's frustrating because you're at the line and you're guessing. You're not absolutely sure what his base coverage is, and that's a good tactic to throw off a lot of high-level players. Yeah, and what separates the best from the rest is, is consistency, right? You have the, the ability to recognize, okay, what am I seeing? How can I attack it? And how can I get the same consistent result on an every-down basis? Uh, uh, and that's what Strafen makes so difficult for an offense like LT. And the way that he does that, too, is when he's setting up these defenses, Gibbs, a lot of times he makes them look the same. So he'll have a cover four look looking like a cover two look because he'll press those DBs down. So he's very good at disguising the coverage and making you not get keen to be able to just read the shell and tell what it is. He's very good at disguising the shells. Yeah, and the key there you said, you talked earlier, you said disguise coverage. You said you never want to throw late in the flat, and what you see very often when you get disguised coverage and you don't have that read, you throw interceptions, whether it's in the flat, and we've seen those big plays already from Strafen. Two pick sixes with Anthony Barr to be up 21-0 here as we're winding down in the second quarter. Yeah, this is rough for LT, but hey, he's still in it. He gets the ball at halftime, much like Trueboy. We saw Trueboy able to put a drive together in the same situation and get the ball at halftime and get himself back into the game. If you're LT, that's exactly what you need to do. Don't get too discouraged. Don't get too worried. You're still in the ball game. Fight as much as you can and get the pressure back on Strafen. Third and seven here. A lot of time still left. He's got all three of his timeouts LT. He's going to go trips to the left side of the field. Marcel Reese split to the right. Travis Kelsey split to the right. Dumps it down to Landry over the middle of the field. And here we go. We have a fourth down situation. Fourth and three. But all game on the line right now in this uh, first half for LT. Yep. And look, for, look out for the play he ran last time. He has the running back coming out over the middle. And then he's got tight, tight end going that way. Nope. Switched it up, and again, again, Anthony Barr gives. If you get to a third or fourth down situation, 
and you got a test strafing user it is not a good look for you as you can see Gibbs this that, that this is just way too impressive four takeaways and almost less than two quarters of football Stute Strafen's an animal Aaron Rodgers scrambles out of the pocket falls down for a nine yard gain now we get into a second in one situation and you know, after that last interception, you saw a little bit of a smirk there from Strafen. He feels confident right now in this one. He already knows he's one of the better players here. Uh, and now to come out into your first performance, how key is it to start a tournament like this and to get into a hot streak like this? Because he's playing lights out. His user defense is lights out. We haven't really seen much of his offense, but how important is it to get off to a quick start? Okay, in a, in a single elimination <laughs> tournament, hell, it's super tournament. important. You have no choice to get no off choice. to a, a quick start or, or it's over. But to get in momentum, and getting wins like this is definitely sometimes it can play to your benefit and sometimes it could also play to your demise because if you're going up against guys like Misery who just had a tough game you know what I mean uh, True Boy fought back um, in his first game against Killer Mike so those guys are used to hell games right now if you haven't gone through a hell game yet in the tournament and then all of a sudden you find yourself in one it, uh, it can make you a little bit uncomfortable that's bad that's bad <laughs> and he's saying that's bad to himself, that's Strafen saying, I just threw in the coverage and got away with one right there. He's not happy with himself on that play, even though he got um, yards out of it. And that just shows you how in tune these guys are. They don't want to just get yards. They want to get their guys wide open and get them the right way. Uh, first down, we throw a quick pass to the flat. Aaron Rodgers, another completion. Four for seven, 85 yards, only one offensive touchdown. A recap here. I'd be straight for representing the Minnesota Vikings. He has two pick sixes with Anthony Barr four touchdowns. Now, if you're LT, you're down 21-0. You're about to give up more points here. What's going on in his mind? Uh, there's a couple things that be, could be going on in LT's mind. Hopefully, what's going on in his mind is I need to hold him to at least three right here and still keep it a three-possession game and then answer right back to start the second half and there you go LT better hold them to nothing and it's still only a three possession game great stop right there by LT way to stand up for yourself Paul Krause we talked about him and now if you're LT you know you need to come out into the second half and you need to make a statement drive when you open open up the second half Important to get off to a quick start in the second half for LT. He is down 21 nothing as we're about to head into the second here, half here at the Madden NFL Club Series Championship. Ivy Strafen, representing the Minnesota Vikings, up 21 nothing against LT in the Kansas City Chiefs here in our quarterfinal game number three here in Los Angeles, California. Yeah, and if you're LT, you need to make a pay for that interception in the second half. You need to make that comeback to bite him. He got a little bit too greedy right there. Could have easily made it, took three, made it three possessions, but LT would have had to get three two-point conversions, which is unlikely. So if you're LT, you got to make him pay for that mistake because it could be costly for Strafen. Yeah, you'll have to up the tempo in this second half for LT. But before we get to that second half, we got to go over to Dave on the field. Thanks a lot, guys. A really interesting first half. LT during his Kansas City Chiefs Club Series event never had to face a situation like this. Down 21 at halftime. Strafen looks to be the dominant player of this tournament right now. Uh, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens here in the second half. I want to remind you guys that if you want to get like Strafen and you want to get some more Madden tips and tricks, you can head over to the EA Mutt Twitter ac account. Follow them at Madden Ultimate Team on Twitter at EA Sports underscore Mutt. You can get the latest on new packs, giveaways, rewards, and more. We are going to take a look at our brackets here. We are at halftime of IB Strafen, LT 21 nothing, FMB Monster, shut it down, coming up next. Now I am here with LT at halftime. LT, down big. This is uh, getting punched in the mouth in the first half here. How do you turn this around? I just got to fight back, stop making bad reads. I've, I've never played this bad in a long time, so just picked a bad time to do it. Well, the time to Start the comeback is right right now. What do you need to do differently on defense to stop Strafen? Uh, I mean, I've stopped him twice inside the red zone, so I just got to keep playing good D and just got to put some points on the board. You're one of the older competitors at this tournament. You're 31. Does your age, is that a factor when you're playing these guys? Uh, I mean, I don't think so. I just made batteries. I don't know, think it matters how old you are with those throws I made. So. <laughs> well, right on. I appreciate it. Best of luck in the second half. Uh, should be a really uh, a good one, full of fireworks. So we're going to send it back to Gibbs and RG for the second half. And well, listen, second half action coming up here uh, in this 
quarterfinal game number three between LT uh, and IB Strafe. And you, you heard him say there, all the bad reads. Mm-hmm. Talk to me about all the bad reads. Well, he gets them in bad reads when it's these third and fourth down passing situations where Strafen just knows he can sit back, survey the middle of the field, and make a play. He's doing a good job of faking LT out sometimes, too, where he's acting like he's going to go run and guard the left side of the field, breaks to the right side of the field, and makes a pick. I did like what I heard from LT, though. He didn't seem too rattled. He understands he needs to just stop making those bad reads and get the offense going. Easier said than done, especially going up against a guy like Strafen, though. Strafen playing lights out in that first half. He has a 21-0 lead against the man on the right there. You can see LT. Real important for LT to get off to a quick start here, not just for the success of this game, but in order to make the Madden Championship in May, he needs to finish in the top two of this tournament. So it's a must-win situation for LT if yes. he wants to be part of that $500,000 tournament later in May. Yes, this is a do-or-die situation for LT. Strafen is already locked in to be into that last tournament, and some people handle that pressure differently. You know what I mean? Strafen is not feeling too relaxed right now. He's playing with a lot of passion, playing really hard. And LT, your back's up against the wall, but sometimes that makes people nervous, and sometimes that makes people fight even harder. LT needs to stop being nervous and fight for the rest of the second half. And fight he'll have to here. Third and nine, you have Russell Wilson in Shaka and Marcel Reese split to the right. Travis Kelsey lined up at tight end. Russell Wilson finds a wide open Landry over the middle of the field. Big time hit now from Anthony Barr for a first down. 10 for 15, 78 yards. Uh, the problem is, out of those five incomplete passes, three of them have been interceptions. So LT able to get the ball done from the air, but again, the turnover is just killing him. Quick handoff inside Marcel Reese. He'll fall forward for a gain of two yards, second and eight now. LT running the Pittsburgh Steelers offensive playbook with the Buffalo defensive playbook. We got Strafen running the Saints offensive playbook with the multiple defense defensive playbook. Quick pass out to the right flat, Travis Kelsey get into a manageable third and short here. Travis Kelsey been all over the field so far for LT. Yeah, that's his go-to guy and that's a guy that's gonna have to get busy if LT is gonna wanna make a comeback and get a win in this game. If you remember in the club series, his go-to player was Travis Kelsey and that's his guy that had a really big day. Uh -oh. Drop pass from Landry there. Now we get into a fourth uh -oh. and six. You see some of that frustration as he, LT sits back, grimaces on his face, raises his eyebrows. Ivy Strafen looks composed, and as he should, 21 nothing, and we get a fourth and six situation for LT. No, Strafen, he's a competitor. LT's a football coach, but Strafen's a two-time all-state wide receiver back in high school, so he loves to compete. He knows what it's like to compete on a high level. And almost got another interception with Anthony Barr right there, but just short. And luckily for LT, he's able to sling it in there and get the first down and keep this drive going. That was really scary, Gibbs. Sneaks the ball in for the first down on fourth and six. Now we come back first and ten. Marcel Reese in the flat for a big gain on first down. Russell Wilson 13 for 19. Three interceptions though in this one. But I like what he needs to do is continue to attack these flat skids and that's going to open up the stuff over top. I like what he's doing. Quick handoff inside Travis go. Kelsey fights through one broken tackle, falls forward first down. Yeah, when you run the ball uh, like he is, these short inside runs, that's going to bring more defenders in the box, open things up in the flat as well downfield. Absolutely, and this is exactly what he needs to be doing. And he's a defensive player. If he can just go get some points on the board, it's going to give his defense the momentum they need to go make plays for him. But the offense needs to get it done. And we are watching two of the best players in the world play right now. I.B. Strafen representing the Vikings here in the Club Series Championship. Don't forget, 9 p.m. Eastern tonight will be on the NFL Network for the grand finale. Will be LT. Will he make a comeback here? Will be I.B. Strafen. Dominating yeah. performance like he is right now. And he's got time, Gibbs. He's got plenty of time in this game. About halfway done with the third quarter. He's marching down the field. But he's done this before. I, I'm not going to be convinced until he gets I into can, this end zone. I Gibbs. can tell. I can see it on your look. that you, you you feel this drive. What's going on right now with LT and his drive and his confidence? Well, he's mixing it up. I mean, he got away with that fourth down where he almost you know threw it by Anthony Barr. And his receiver made a play for him. And he's been taking full advantage ever since. Mixing it up, going across the middle, throwing to the flats, running the ball. 
but he needs to finish it off with a touchdown. None of that matters, Gibbs, unless we get six here. Russell Wilson snap the ball. Halfback splits to the left. He's going to go up top. Tip drill. Paul oh, Krause with the interception wow. once again. Now that is the fourth interception. Paul Krause, a little shake and bake down to the 50-yard line. And once again, an interception for LT. Oh, it's brutal for LT. He again gets down into the red zone, trying to fight back, give his defense a reason to get amped. <laughs> Just tries a high pass at... Strafen's user. That was Strafen. Strafen up with his user defender. Here, here it is. You see him. He's going to throw right at Strafen's user defender. He gets a tip on it. And then interception Paul Krause. You need to stop testing this guy Strafen, Gibbs. He's an elite lurker, and he ain't playing no games when it comes to throwing at him. Yeah, and I saw on our notes we had about I.B. Strafen. He said no BS. He has the best user in the nation. And he was going to be here to try and prove that. And listen, he's shown it here today with all the interceptions. Yes, that is a, qu a quote we absolutely have in the notes. And it's bolded in black. Bolded. He says, I Caps. have the best user in the nation. And he's making a strong case for it in this game today. T Times New Roman font. He said, true boy, you could have the best run stick, but... I kind of want to take this crown of best defensive stick in the nation, huh? Yeah, and listen, I'd be strafing. You know, he's a guy that he, he's made it to four straight group stage finals uh, for our Madden, uh, uh, major series throughout this year, the Madden Championship Series. Uh, just recently, he went to the Las Vegas tournament, competed there, lost in the final four to Figgy, and then he played again yesterday in the L.A. tournament. So, I mean, this guy is just everywhere. A lot of reps. Ubiquitous. A lot of reps, a lot of high-level Madden, and that's good preparation to get himself ready for things like this. And he gets a little bit of another tip drill right there. This, is, this game has gotten out of hand. But I, I did have the pleasure of attending both of these events, Gibbs, the, the Minnesota Vikings Challenger event and the Kansas City Chiefs Challenger event. And these were two amazing events. We had tons of fans out there at the Vikings event. You had Stefan Diggs coming out. Say what up to the fans. How big was that crowd? That was huge. It was, it was, it was, it was a wicked long line. It was, you it were calling the oh game. Oh, goodness, oh, yeah. It was amazing. And then in the Kansas City Chiefs, they filled up their draft line. We had guys like Tyreek Hill in the house, Chris Davis. It, it was a great time. So big shout out to those two organizations for throwing fantastic events that to let the fans come out and engage with Madden and engage with the NFL teams and their players at the stadium. How good was that barbecue, KC? Oh, don't get me going. Uh, don't, don't get me going no, about the burning skips. Don't even do it, dude. I want an RG rant about oh the barbecue gosh. sandwich. It doesn't take much to get me to start <laughs> talking about brisket. Uh, here we go. Fourth and one. Still a lot of time left in this one for LT to get a chance to come back with the ball in hand. Fourth and one. Resplit left. Kelsey split right. Put Landry in motion. Russell Wilson behind center here. Going to motion Landry back across the formation. Snap the ball. Inside hand off to Kelsey. Does he fall forward for the first down? As we head into the fourth quarter to see, and he does get the first down. Uh, one thing I'm noticing, gives as I'm watching Strafen play defense, I usually feel like I have a good idea. I'm, I'm seeing what the players are talking about. I always feel like I have a good idea of what the opponent, the, play, the user is doing on defense. With Strafen, I, I really can't tell. I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to make Reed pre-snap, even though I'm not playing, and say, what, what kind of look is he giving him right here? And it's easy to see what the players are talking about. He does a great job of disguising these coverages, and you're just not sure what he's in. Like, right now, he's running a cover three type defense, but he has two safeties up there uh, making it look like a two shell. Yeah, so you, you see the safeties on the field. Talk to me a little bit about that. What, what's making it so difficult for LT and the rest of the competitors here well, to understand that, his defense? That last play, he was in the cover three, but he still had two safeties back there like that. Usually when you run a cover three, there's only the one safety back there, and it makes it obvious. He's ca calling baseline at the start of the play and pressing, and it's just doing a fantastic job of throwing not only his opponents off, it's throwing me off here trying to do the color commentary. Not good for our morale, right? <laughs> Making us feel worse about our own. Yeah, game. exactly. I got to hit the lab. <laughs> First and 10. Another oh, user play over the middle of the field. Anthony Barr one step short there for yeah. incomplete pass. And if, you, if we get that on replay at some point, you see what he does. He runs up and takes routes away on the first progression and then crashes back down to take the underneath route. It's one defender taking away multiple routes, and that's something you see when we're playing high level elite Madden. Second and 10. We're going to find another. Marcel Reese open in the field. 
And we're, we're, you're going to get to take a look at what I was talking about, Gibbs. You see him run back with Barr, take away the seam route, and then come back down to guard the slant. He's doing so much right there with Barr. And right when we say he's doing so much, he's like, I'm going to do even more. And is that four or five picks right now for Anthony Barr? This is a clinic. Six foot five, Anthony Barr playing absolute lights out. And Ivy Strafen has put an emphatic stamp on our notes about having the best user in the nation. <laughs> who, who, I whoever this, I got took that note. I, yeah, I like that I'm note. I like yeah, this yeah. bad boy. Because this is absolutely really, yeah, what you're you seeing go. right now. You, you got to highlight that one because he definitely is showing off that user ability. It's cool when a player can call something like that out, Gibbs, and then back it up. You earn a ton of respect when you're able to do things like that, and Strafen is getting all kinds of respect in this game. Milking a little bit of the clock here. You can see the play clock winding down to zero. It, and Ricky Williams falls forward here. We talked a little bit about the Minnesota Vikings in the Mall of America. Here's to take a look at what it looked like there in Minnesota. We had lots of fans all lined up, all up and down the entire mall. It was fantastic. Oh, there was about 100,000 people. They had a roller coaster inside. Yeah, and you know what was the main attraction in the mall that day? Madden. Minnesota Vikings Club <laughs> Series, baby. Third and four. Ricky Williams behind center. Rogers gets an inside handoff. He'll fall forward for a first down. And right now, LT now taking his first timeout for a last-ditch effort here to get back in this one. Yeah, this is a rough one for LT. It doesn't look like he's going to be able to win this game unless something crazy happens. But this is a guy that he took a huge step in his Madden career, Gibbs. He had been competing in tournaments for over a decade and was never able to make it to the big stage. He was able to go into Kansas City, fight through some hell games, and walk away with that championship. So that's a great experience for him. And that's some momentum that he can take into next year knowing that he for sure has what it takes to make it to these live events and really go and earn himself some cash playing this game. Yeah, you said he's been playing competitive Madden for over a decade. He started back in Madden 2008. That's LT, the Kansas City Chiefs. His buddy Aaron went out to a tournament, won that tournament, and then LT said, hey, I beat you all the time, so I must be able to get into this thing here. And, and that's how he started playing competitive Madden. And as a matter of fact, his buddy Aaron also made the Kansas City Chiefs uh, club series, and they had to play first round. And LT beat one of his, his best friends in, Called his shot. in the first round. Called his shot. That's a cool experience. How about that, getting to play at an NFL Club Series event with one of your best friends? I mean, what an experience, huh? Big time experience. It, it, something that's really just impressive so far in this one. How often do you see someone come in, play lights out in the first round matchup, and shut their opponent out? How often do you see shutouts in a game of Madden? Yeah, not you see them, but not when you're dealing with this caliber of player. Usually, these guys are so close in skill level that you're just guaranteed to have a good matchup. His straight and just does whatever he wants with Ricky Williams right now. And oh boy, quick run off that right out. edge, and you can see Ricky Williams all the way down to the five. Take a look at the replay here. Oh, look at this! Look at this stick work right here. Whoops. Little Jucatan Peninsula inside. Manual Jucatan Peninsula right there. Yeah, that was nasty. That was great stick work by Strafen showing that he not only has the stick work on defense, but he also has it on offense. He's going to be able to nail this out. The game's going to be over Gibbs. Point differential is not a factor in this tournament format. And I'd be Strafen, the favorite, one of the favorites with True Boy to win this tournament, who's out. The last remaining favorite advances, and he's going to be a force to be reckoned with going forward. All respect here from Ivy Strafen. He hails from Lincoln, Nebraska. Minnesota Vikings fan, one of the biggest Minnesota Vikings fan he said ever in the world. So you got to tip his hat for that. Representing the Vikings here as he won the Club Series Championship at the Mall of America back in early February. He'll have a chance now moving on into the semifinals. Uh, he'll have a matchup to play against either Monsta or Shut It Down, who's coming up next. And let me tell you this, if Strafen were to win this entire event, get this, he'll move into sixth overall positioning in the Madden Championship standings. That's a guy that's...